You're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So Bob Arum, he just shook up the whole George Cambosis versus Devin Haney situation. Now, and this was news that I had already knew about, but my source told me not to leak it to the public. But now, since Bob Arum has already did it, we can obviously talk about it. So Bob Arum, he reveals that he is bidding for the Devin Haney fight versus George Cambosis. So now this is going to be a tug of war between top rank and the zone. This is what Bob Arum said to Fight Hype. And Lomachenko refused uh, to go. He said he doesn't care who gave him permission. He's going to fight in defense of his country. And he stayed in Ukraine. So Gamboza had to look for another opponent. And hopefully that announcement will come shortly. And... Uh, uh, hopefully, Top Rank will be involved, along with uh, Lou DeBella's company. Meaning um, Cambosis when he announces his next opponent. Yeah, we'll be involved. There, there's big talks that it'll be in the Devin Haney fight. Well, I don't want to say because, he, again, Lou is the, as the promoter of Cambosa, uh, should be the one making that announcement, not me. Do you see, uh, how do you see that fight playing out, Bob? If right. Cambosis and Haney, if that's the fight. It would be a good happens. fight, excellent fight. Excellent, you know, fight. I mean, from our standpoint, we want to do a fight with Cambosa, uh, which is so competitive uh, that uh, ESPN wants to, to put it on because Cambosa is bound and determined to fight in Australia. And you can do that on a Sunday afternoon, Saturday night, back in the United States. And he only, uh, uh, ESPN has to send a crew over there and everything. And they only want to do it if it's going to be, A, a wow fight. So the idea, Bob, is even if it isn't, obviously it's not Lomachenko, that if the Haney fight doesn't go through, you have another opponent. No, if, hey, hey, let me tell you, whatever it is, as long as it is a competitive fight that has a lot of interest here in the United States and we can be involved, we want to do it. Now, if it's going to be a non-competitive fight, we're not interested. Or if for some reason we're not asked to participate, that could happen. So once again, you heard Bob Arum revealing that they want the Cambosis Devin Haney fight as well. I guess this is why sometimes it pays off to remain being a free agent. Because right now, Devin Haney, he's a free agent, and Cambosis is not really signed with any network. You know, I mean, he's with Lou DeBella, but he can go anywhere. So it kind of gives both fighters an advantage over the networks. Because now you have once again top rank and his own fighting over rights to host this fight. One of the most revealing things that Bob Arum said in that clip right there was we only want the fight. We're only going to take this fight if Cambosis is taking on a big challenge. If he's fighting against a big name fighter like a Devin Haney or a Lomachenko. This is what Eddie Hearn meant when he just recently said George Cambosis doesn't really have too many other options because he originally wanted, he wanted the Lomachenko fight all along. All those interviews like the one you're watching right now, at least the one on the screen, him talking with Devin and Bill saying we're going to make it happen, that was all cap. George Cambosis knew since day one he wanted to fight Vasil Lomachenko. He felt Lomachenko is naturally smaller. He already has two losses on his record. It's an easier challenge than fighting against Devin Haney. This is how he always felt. But it backfired on him. His plan backfired on him. And now he's basically being forced to take what he believes will be his toughest challenge. 
which is against the WBC champion, Devin Haney. And I agree with Cambosis. It will be his toughest challenge. It will be the most difficult fight out of all of the options he thought he had previously. It's rather ironic because in a recent interview George Cambosis did, he pretty much admitted that he wanted to fight Lomachenko all along, but now he can't because, of course, Lomachenko is stuck in the war in Ukraine. Because George Cambosis, he said, you know, I did a poll and the majority of fans, they said they wanted me to fight Lomachenko, so I was going to fight Lomachenko. But we know that's not true because, once again, even after George Cambosis basically told Bill Haney and Devin Haney to their face, we're going to make it happen, like a week later, he accidentally let it slip because he was doing an interview and he outright said that he wants to fight Lomachenko next. Then after realizing what he revealed, he then tried to say later on in the interview, or it could be Devin Haney or Ryan Garcia. This was a long time ago before he was getting any type of response from the fans. I mean, for him to talk about him doing polls, we know that's a joke. First of all, we already know that even George Cambos' own fans, anytime you do a poll, they are going to say they want you to avoid somebody like Devin Haney because they don't believe you're good enough to beat him. So if George Cambosis really felt he was the best, that's how he should be looking at it. Like, wait a minute, these guys really think I can't beat this guy. Let me show them that I'm better than him, right? Anytime you do a poll where you have to fight against an undefeated black champion, fans are going to say, hey, leave him alone because you're not good enough to beat him, champ. So why don't you just fight other guys? And that way, even if you do lose, at least you're not losing to a black fighter. So it's ridiculous for George Cambosis to say he did a poll, especially when we're talking about one fighter who's a champion, an undefeated champion, Devin Haney, and the other fighter who just lost to the guy that you just beat, who has two losses on his record and is not a champion. You're going to do a poll when it comes to those two options? And why would you even need to do a poll when you have the option to fight for undisputed? Because you sure didn't do a poll when you had the opportunity to fight for Teofimo's belts. So at the end of the day, like I told you guys before, I'm going to keep saying it. This is Devin Haney, Jojo Diaz all over again. Jojo Diaz, he was forced to take this fight. He had no other options that could match this one. And now George Cambosis is in the same situation. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. My name is Chris, and I'm all the way here from Anchorage, Alaska at South Carolina, and I'm here for my second treatment of SMP. Well, I was sitting at home one day and uh, going over my Facebook page, and they have different, you know, like advertisements popping up, and I saw one for SMP, and I saw some pictures of some guys, you know, a before and after, and I was looking at that, and, I, you know, it caught my attention, so I Googled it. SMP, nothing showed up in my area. So, uh, you know, I did a little more research and all of a sudden, Scout Carolinas popped up in the web browser. So I started uh, watching his videos and uh, seeing all the reaction from all the other people. We talked on the phone, we made appointments and everything. I sent him pictures and uh, uh, he looked at them and I was like, can you fix this? And, uh, you know, he pretty much said, no problem. My first session, uh, he made me feel extremely comfortable. Uh, it was almost like I was talking to family. He started and uh, during the whole, whole treatment, we talked and, you know, about our families and our life and, you know, and things that he does and things that I do. And before I know it, the first session was over. When you see someone doing something that they love, uh, as much as I see Enoch Glover love what he does, uh, it shows in his work. I wouldn't point anyone in any other direction but here to North Carolina.
South Carolinas to get this done. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, then this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called Elo De Key Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to elodekey.com, like them on Facebook, and follow them on Instagram.